Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to get the actual battery health of your iPhone relative to when your iPhone was completely new right out of the box. So let me show you how to get that actual battery health of your device. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now in order to understand what the actual battery health of each individual iphone is you have to use this information provided in this video because apple has set a certain number that's standard throughout all devices in order to give you guys a certain amount of information so for example the iphone 14 pro max the maximum battery charging capacity or the maximum battery health of this device is set at 4323 that is the safe number that apple has set for all iPhone 14 Pro Max owners and as long as the iPhone doesn't drop below that number then when you go into the battery health section of your iPhone it will always say a hundred percent now obviously it will eventually drop from that number but one thing we need to understand is that not every iPhone as a matter of fact no iPhone ships with exactly the number that Apple has programmed for this software to recognize a hundred percent which once again is four thousand three hundred and twenty three so most iPhones ship with a higher number that's just Apple's safe zone now let me show you how to obtain the actual battery health on your device so the first thing you need to do is head on over into settings and then you want to head on over into privacy and security and then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find the analytics and improvement options now right here you need to enable this option right here share iPhone and Apple watch analytics if it's already on then don't worry about it if it was off turn it on wait a couple of days and then come back to this video because the next step is analytics data we need this data to run for a couple of days in order to get this information. Now, right here, we have these numbers and these letters and these uh, things here. As you can see right here, this analytic data. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go and look for the analytic data, which is this portion here. We have all these analytic data logs right here, as you can see. We want to go ahead and choose one of these dates. I'm just going to go with February 16th right here, just for the sake of this video. It's only been a couple of days since then, so I should get an accurate reading here. And then I want to click on the share options up at the top here, and then I want to scroll in to I find the battery stat. Now battery stat is a shortcut which I'll link in the description that will give us the actual battery health relative to when your iPhone's battery was new. And those are the key words relative to when your iPhone's battery was new. Remember how I mentioned that Apple has set the 4,323 number as the safe zone for 100%? Well this iPhone actually shipped with a higher number, 4548. So 4,548. In reality, I've lost about 5% of battery house relative to when this iPhone's battery was new. Again, not every single iPhone was shipped with the exact same number. You can run the test yourself. I'll share the links in the description for the shortcut. Right now, the current maximum capacity is 4318, so 4,318, which is slightly lower than Apple's safe zone number, 4323, which means that next update this iPhone runs, the percentage may drop 1%, so it may be at uh, maybe 99 by the time the next software update hits this device. Now, another thing to look at is the current charging cycles. I have 126. So for every 25 charging cycles, you lose a 1% approximately of battery maximum capacity, which is pretty accurate looking at these numbers here. Now, again, links will be in the description. There's the Siri shortcut right there. You can click on get the shortcut. It's going to ask you to add it to your shortcuts list. I've already have, so it's going to ask me to replace it. And once you do, all you have to do is go into settings once again, and then you want to make sure you go into the privacy section under privacy. You want to go ahead and select analytics and improvements and then analytics data select any of the analytics data just so as long as it isn't an old one from about three months ago you should get an accurate reading and an actual battery health of your iphone now this is good information in case you're looking to buy maybe a second hand device or you just want to know the actual battery health relative to when your iphone's battery was new thank you for watching guys i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one peace